Hello everyone, you're all very, very welcome to the A Little Cinema live stream. Um, I can hear my voice over there, a few gremlins in the system, but it's okay. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good to go, okay, so um, at the moment I'm Kenny Gohan and I got Matthew Blaine with me. Matthew, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Thank you for joining me. I can still hear music in my ears, is that okay, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a few few gremlins, but it's okay. Uh, music is just keeping us entertained. You're all very, very welcome to the Zamori mu music in the year now. Um, you're all very welcome to the, <laughs> to the August Little Cinema live stream. Um, uh, we got 10 great films to screen tonight. Uh, for anyone who hasn't been at the Little Cinema before, who doesn't know what it is, it's like an open mic for filmmakers. And uh, we screen music videos, comedy sketches, short films, documentaries, everything in between. And what you'll see tonight is a mixture of filmmakers from uh, professional to amateur to everything in between, but everything that's been screened tonight is really, really good. Uh, so, uh, if you have any comments, uh, get in touch with us on the Facebook stream and uh, write your comments there. We have uh, Matthew Blaney, who will be doing our uh, comments correspondence for us. So, any comments that are there, he'll be reading out, we're trying to read out as, as much as he can, have a bit of banter, have a bit of fun with you. Uh, so, do get involved in the comments there and have a bit of crack there. Uh, before going any further, I want to give you a few thank yous. First of all, uh, thank you to Unbound Media. We're here in we're in the lads' house in the sitting room for the, the fifth time, uh, taking over the whole sitting room, and uh, we have so much equipment here. We got uh, Adrian Conway, Dahi O'Malley, uh, we got uh, Finta Garrity, we got Ray Grady, and myself, uh, uh, Matthew, and myself. So, guys, thank you very much for helping us out. Uh, this is done with uh, Unbound Media, and uh, they're a fantastic resource for uh, if you want to get a website done or live stream or anything like that. They're excellent. Um, also. Uh, tonight's show is sponsored. It's the first time we've had a sponsored show, and it's amazing. And it's sponsored by uh, Airhub, which is um, Galway's uh, online market. And it's a fantastic place where if you have anything that you want to uh, buy or sell, you can go up and check there. Uh, you can post jobs, you can find jobs, and it's everything which, which is in Galway. So instead of if you go onto any of the other websites where you're looking across Ireland, this is all for Galway people. So if you do have anything in Galway that you want to sell or you're looking to buy something, check out that for definite. Uh, the website is uh, airhub.com and uh, it's great to be working with them. Thank you very much for helping us out on this and uh, um, definitely check out their website um, and give them a like on Facebook as well because we really appreciate the fact that they're sponsoring tonight. Um, and also I want to thank the Gawler Film Centre because um, they're helping us out with the stream also. So um, Alan Duggan and Owen Butler Thornton out there as well as the rest of the gang in the uh, Gawler Film Centre. Thank you very much uh, for taking part today and for sponsoring us, for helping us. Um, so we have 10 films to screen tonight. Uh, Matt is going to be watching the comments and so I think it's probably time to get into the first film. What do you reckon? Yeah. 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 Is that a good... We'll it's a great idea. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. okay. Thank it's, you very much. Thank you. Yeah. So the first filmmaker is uh, based in Galway. Uh, he's been making films for Little Cinema for probably since almost the start of it. Um, and uh, he's, a, he's a regular submitter and he's a... He's a, he's a um, are, we already, are, are we ready to bring him on? Yeah, he's, he's more or less ready to come. So um, he's, he's a regular submitter to the cinema. And um, he is, uh, I'm going to just talk for a second to be sure it's okay. We're okay. <laughs> um, it's all going to be perfect after this. <coughs> so he's a regular Little, Little Cinema submitter and uh, he's ready to introduce the film now. So please welcome to Little Cinema. Uh, uh, just one second now. <laughs> are we all, uh, before we go introduce now, are we, are we all okay here? Matthew, let's talk about amongst ourselves for a second. Yeah. Um, how are <laughs> so, you doing? I'm very good. How are you keeping? Not too bad. Not how are you bad. finding the isolation period? Uh, trying, but uh, getting through it. How about you? You're wearing a mask everywhere? I am now, yeah, since Monday, yeah. It's mandatory, yeah. so um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's strange. I never, thought, I never thought that I'd get used to wearing a mask, but now I'm in shops and I feel weird not wearing a mask. Yeah, exactly. It's, very, it's, it's funny how very quickly you adapt it to a new norm, isn't it? It's, uh, but I'm still, yeah, it's still... Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're all good to go. Um, okay, so great. We're going to go on with our first uh, film. As I was saying, this guy is a Gawler filmmaker, making films for the cinema for about 10 years or so. And so his name is Kenny Gohan. Uh, Kenny Gohan, are you there? Hello. Kenny, can you hear us? Yeah. <laughs> how are you, lads? I'm here with my pint Kenny, of... Kenny, how are you? Sorry. Can you hear us? Uh, T tell uh, us. No, sorry, no, you, you go ahead. Um, sorry. Uh, do, do you want to tell us about your film, maybe? Uh, it seems like uh, a bit of, just, just a, bit of a time, time delay where I'm. Yeah, okay, maybe just uh, tell us about um, your film. Tell us about your film there, if you don't mind. Will I just introduce my. Sh sh yeah, uh, tell us, yeah, introduce your film there. Thank you very much. 
Yeah. Okay. I'll, okay. Okay. So this is a series of shorts. Yeah, go, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'll introduce it now. If you just give me a chance, I'll, I'll introduce it. Um, so this is a series of shorts which I made at the start of lockdown. It was as part of the uh, the toilet roll challenge, where there was professional footballers all around the world uh, doing a, f- a series of keepy uppies followed by a volley, where they'd, they'd hit the toilet roll into either a bin or a goal or something like that. And so I said I'd give it a go, and I did it, and I submitted it, but it was actually rejected by the... International Toilet Roll Federation, whatever. for whatever reason, um, I still don't really know why. Uh, but um, so th- this kind of shows that the back and forth, which which went on between me and them, it, it very nearly went legal. Um, but thankfully, I had a lot of people support me at the time, and uh, oh, it, it, it almost kicked off big time. I mean, there was almost riots in Galway, uh, but it's it all turned out okay. Um, uh, the uh, the challenge I did was accepted as a legitimate challenge, and uh, I just hope that your viewers can watch this now and maybe see, maybe the, the shadier side of the International Toilet Roll Federation. Uh, they're not all they're not all as cracked up to be. Put it that way, okay? Um, but thank you for showing us. Uh, great job on the show. You got a great host there. He's he's fantastic. Lovely hair. A great guy. Uh, the co-host. He's. Um, uh, yeah, he, he's there too. So fair play. Yeah, good stuff. Um, thank you again very much, and thanks for having me on. And talk to you later. Great. And sorry about the, the gremlins in the system there. Uh, it was. It was, oh, it was a, sorry weird. about it. It could happen to anyone. Thank you. Break. Hey guys, now remember: create, don't contaminate. Here's my five zones in the body. Hi everyone, I'm afraid today's video is a bit of a downbeat video because this morning I got a phone call from the International Toilet Roll Federation and they have told me that they are not accepting my toilet roll challenge as a legitimate challenge and I know, I know, I'm as shocked as you are and I'm as angry as you are, I really am. But we need to be calm. Now isn't the time for going onto the streets protesting. I know you. I know you want to. I know you want to. But now isn't the time. The time will come for that. But not now. Right now, it's time for reflection and contemplation. And I did that toilet roll challenge in good faith. In good faith. And they've sent me video evidence which they claim to show that the toilet roll was hanging from a string. Uh, That's the first I've heard of this. That's the first I've heard of that. I mean, when I did the toilet roll challenge, I just grabbed the first toilet roll uh, which was there. I didn't care whether it was on the ground, in the air. I didn't even look to see if it was attached or anything. I just grabbed it and I did it first time. But they're saying that there was a string attached and unfortunately I can't, I have no way to disprove them. Um, there may have been string attached to it. If there was, I don't know how I got there. I mean, I did, it, I, I did it in good faith and I did it, that was just pure skill. And look, I know I can just say that you want to get on the street, you want to protest, you want to get angry. Let's not, let's stay calm. I'm going to, just just to prove them wrong, I'm going to work on that more. And I don't need to work on the skills part, obviously. I will do the video again and I'll release it tomorrow or something as just a, you know, just a statement to the International Toilet Roll Federation that I'm, I'm not taking this. Say, you, you might think you're grinding me down, but you're not. Me and my, my fans, won't take it so thanks for your support um i'm still in shock i'm sure you're in shock as well uh but thank you for your support and we we, we will come back from this stronger okay so international toilet roll federation whoever you are bloody shadowy government type thing i'm going to redo my even i don't need to i'm going to redo my 
uh, toilet roll challenge because you, Dean, is my first one to be inadmissible and you wouldn't accept it. And you, you're probably being coerced by like Cristiano Ronaldo or something. He's probably making you do that because he saw how good it was. But uh, I'm going to do it again and this time under conditions where can, there can be no no rule breaking, no strings attached like you said there was. You claim there were strings attached, which was complete nonsense. There's no strings in that room whatsoever. I could prove it. Um, and just, just so there, there's absolutely no room for maneuver for ye to find a way to, uh, to uh, uh, discredit me, I'm going to use two cameras, okay? So one there and one there. So let's do this. Here's my second toilet roll challenge. Now, is that good enough for you? Hey everyone, I've been waiting for a very important phone call today from you know who, this could be it, so... Hello? Uh, hello, is this Kenny from Galway who took the toilet roll challenge? Yes, speaking. An apology? For what? Like I don't know. Well, for our failure to authenticate your first toilet roll challenge, which on second viewing was class. Well, I'm glad to hear you've finally seen sense. Yes, we realise that we are all totally wrong and you were right. And uh, Cristiano Ronaldo was in touch with us to say that he thought not only was it the best toilet roll challenge, but that the toilet roll challenge should now be stopped because you basically perfected it. Wow, well, I wish you could say I'm surprised, but and I'm not really. I just wanted to add that you have a sweet left foot. Oh, thank you very much. Would you believe I'm actually right-footed? No way. I find that very hard to believe. Yes, it's true. And your technique, it's spot on. Thank on you. Drawer stuff. All self-taught. And anything else? Maybe about my career or... Oh, yes. Uh, you could have gone pro. Well, you're not the first person to say that and I appreciate it. Yes. Yes, good. Okay, well, thanks for the call. Yes, thank you for calling us today. No, no, y you called me. I didn't call you. Goodbye. And you're a great footballer. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. And remember, uh, you called me because the, the phone rang here, so just for continuity, you rang me. Okay? Just... So we're clear on that. Yeah, just so we're clear on that. Uh, and you're gone, anyways. Um, but wow, <sighs> finally a bit of vindication. I feel like there's a weight lifted off me, and I can finally move on with my life. This whole ugly episode is finished. I just hope that no one else has to go through what I went through, and I hope that the International Toilet Roll Federation have learned their lesson as well. Thanks for the support, guys, and onwards and upwards. Wow, Matthew, what do you reckon? Brilliant, brilliant. Very he he was good. Yeah, he was special. He was very good. I really liked <laughs> him. Yeah, he's very good. Uh, so uh, that was Kenny Gotham there. Thank you, Kenny, for introducing your film and for making... Uh, it's, it, it's, obviously, I, I, okay, let me break the fourth wall. I made that. That was me. You, that, you, was me. that was you? That was me, yeah, yeah, that wow. was me, yeah, yeah. So I know people Jeez. are probably going to be fooled going, what? No way. That was yeah. me, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. But uh, when Perfect. I was watching that back, I was putting that together today, uh, I was re realizing you get those moments of going, what am I doing? You know, I'm, fil <laughs> I'm filming myself, kicking around <laughs> a toilet roll and I'm talking to the camera, giving off about the International Toilet yeah. Roll Federation and you kind of go, what am I doing? Yeah. And you, you do have those moments of like, why am I doing this? But then it's, uh, it's a bit of crack. So, hashtag uh, worth it. Hashtag worth it, yes. Uh, so uh, we're going to go to our comments correspondent now, uh, Matthew Blaney. How are you doing? Uh, yeah. I'm very good, Ken uh, Matthew. I, go, uh, I was going to call you Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good, Matthew. Uh, so tell us, uh, we've got a few comments yeah, there. Yeah, there's quite a few comments. Um, so uh, Eva said uh, she's glad to see your naked faces, as in, I'm guessing, massless. Uh, oh, yes. We can't agree more. <laughs> um, Alan Duggan said, uh, Kenny, the Kenny guest looking much better than the Kenny host. Controversial. 
Patrick, <laughs> Patrick Kelly <laughs> said... Actually, can I just say as well, it was kind of uh, Alan's idea to do that because he said, looking forward to seeing you interview yourself. Ah. And that's why I came up with it because it was kind of Alan's inspiration. So thank you, Alan, for the inspiration for, the, for the, doing that kind of sketch with the introduction. Brilliant. Uh, Patrick Kelly said, could your shorts be any tighter? <laughs> I don't, I don't think so, Patrick. Um, I, I didn't realise that. Uh, apparently, my shorts are a bit of a topic of conversation now. So uh, <laughs> Throughout the film, nobody talked about the film. But, yeah. I, I get a towel, please? Thank you very much. Um, uh, Max Webb made a, a valid point. The, the downside of putting the little cinema on is for Kenny is that he has to deal with these simpleton filmmakers. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. 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 That last guy. Yeah. Um, Paddy, pa Paddy Farley, Toilet Paper Matters, yeah. it does. Uh, Cottle, not that huge. Oh, cause that's because I said... Context. Um, context. Context there, yes. <laughs> context was, I, I posted a comment saying, have I made a huge mistake with my choice of shorts? And he ah, said, not that not huge. That huge. So okay. Thank you, Cottle. Ooh. Thank you for the vote of... Uh, confidence. Confidence. And uh, JVP... Body positivity. <laughs> yeah, uh, JVP, Justice for Kenny. And uh, Patrick, justice for Kenny's shorts. And lastly, Leon Duff, hashtag cancel Kenny. I, I, I find it funny that nobody commented on the sketch whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> they only talk about my shorts. But yeah. that's cool. Uh, it's good to get so many comments coming in. Please keep the comments coming. I uh, love reading them out and getting reactions to them. Uh, we're going to go to the, the second film of the night now, um, which is uh, made by Patrick Joy. It's first time uh, submitting a film to Little Cinema. And he has done a pre-recorded message for us. Uh, the film is called Johnny and the King. So uh, to introduce the film, please welcome to the cinema, Patrick Joy. Hi to everyone watching uh, the Little Cinema. Uh, my name is Patrick and I made the film you're about to watch. And uh, I just want to clarify uh, before it starts that uh, the film has, it has no subtext. Uh, it's just a little story. Um, if it seems like there's kind of like a hidden meaning to it. Uh, there isn't. Uh, you're probably just imagining it. Um, yeah, uh, enjoy the film. Uh, and don't, I don't think too much about it. How's that? Yes, that'll do nicely. Please. This is Johnny. He's a farmer. This is Johnny's farm. He works hard every day. When he's not working, Johnny likes to go to the pub with his buddies, or spend time with his family. One day, an important visitor came to Johnny's farm. Johnny, my precious, loyal and virtuous subject, how are you today? Your Majesty, to what do I owe the honour? Well, I just thought I'd stop by and see how you're doing, Johnny. I care very much about all of my subjects. Is the harvest on schedule? It is, of course, Your Majesty. It'll be a bountiful one this year. That's great, Johnny. That's great. Good man. Second of all, Johnny, I've got some bad news. You see, there is an evil, bloodthirsty, motherless, violent bastard coming this way. He's jealous of everything you have, Johnny, and he wants to take it from you. Mother of God, Your Majesty, what am I going to do? You have to stop him, Johnny, before he can take what's yours. Think of what could happen to your family, Johnny. Your friends, your farm, your very life is on the line. Jesus, you're right. I'll do anything. Just tell me how I can stop this evil bastard. What was that? Oh, sorry, eh? Jesus, you're right, Your Majesty. I'll do anything. Just tell me how I can stop this evil bastard, Your Majesty. That's the spirit, Johnny. Grab your pitchfork and follow me. I know where the evil bastard lives. And so, Johnny and the king journeyed long into the night to find the evil bastard and stop him in his tracks. The journey was hard on Johnny. It tested his resolve. But he knew he had to go on. He had to protect what he loved. In the dead of night, the king and Johnny found the evil bastard. There he is in the distance, Johnny. We must strike before he notices us. He would do the same to us. Do you good, I heard you. 
Tara Stig, you see her forty. It's too late, Johnny. He's casting a curse. Quickly, kill him before he can finish it. Right, okay, all right. Miha, let's send him dumb. Die, you bastard! Look out, Johnny. There's another one. Carwil Maher? Go back to hell, you demon! I did it. I did it. I saved everyone. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. Well done, Johnny. You fought very bravely tonight. And for that, you will be rewarded. I hereby grant you all of the evil bastard's lands that you might pass them on to your children. His lands? But your majesty, what's there to do here? All I know is farming. Indeed, Johnny. But it seems that today is your lucky day. Excellent. That was Patrick Joy there with that film. Uh, great film. What you reckon of that, Pat? Uh, Matthew, very good? Very good, very Excellent, good. Excellent, yeah. yeah now, let me just say, um, broadcasting standards have been on to us and I was showing too much flesh, so hence uh, why I'm uh, wearing the flesh-coloured uh, towel. Um, so, uh, we got a few comments there, Matthew. We did, the yeah, yeah. Uh, there's still quite a bit uh, disbelief that the Kenny in the film was, in fact, you as well. Um, it was very well done. Very well done. Uh, just a lot of disbelief that a lot of people still look um, questioning that. But um, also, Max Webb uh, wanted to know how did you interview yourself? Um, well, people don't know that I have a twin brother, and so it was easy, really. Okay. So okay. he's actually live in my home house now. Ah, okay, okay. Um, that makes sense. Um, Matt Kavanagh said, "Nice wall, Patrick," with an inquisitive emoji. Um, Leona said, the lost t-shirt, pointed out lost t-shirt. Uh, Colin Fleming said, haha, cool, and hashtag be like Johnny. Leona said, this is class. And yeah, there's a few more. Um, really love it and great film. Excellent. Yeah, it was really good. Patrick Joy, thank you very much for making the film. Uh, it was really good. And uh, it's your first time at the cinema. Hopefully we'll see more of you as well in the future. Um, so before we go to the, to the next filmmakers, just want to give a shout out to the, we have a PayPal link. So if you want to treat this night as like a, a night at the Little Cinema, a night, night out at the cinema, and if you want to like have pay an entry fee or something or just support Little Cinema, you can. The link is on screen at the moment. It's uh, paypal.me forward slash Little Cinema, I think it is. And uh, it's, it's usually five years entry. So if you do want to do that, you can. It's no pressure on anyone. If you want to, it's cool. Um, and uh, uh, it's, it's always helpful to get something to help support this because a lot of work goes into it from, from the lads and ourselves. Um, and so if you do want to do that, that's cool. But we're going to go on to the next filmmakers. So please welcome to the little cinema. We've got uh, Kashi Cepeda and Kevin McDevitt. How are you guys? Doing good. Hello. Hello. Did I get your name right? Yeah, it was perfect. Thanks very much. Good, yeah. good, good. So how are you finding? Well, I better ask how are you finding? I've asked everyone over the last few years. How are you? How are you getting on? Good. Yeah. Yeah. So when, when did you make this film? The first day of phase two, once we could get out in meeting groups of four and six, so we got into a group of four and, and put it together. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, who wrote it? Uh, we wrote it together. Yeah. Um, I think the way we wrote it was that we uh, we just went exploring, looking for locations, and then kind of went to the location and improvised a little bit, and then went back and sort of wrote based on what we talked about. So it was really good, and th th even to climb down to where you were on the bridge in Loch Toya, I was l watching it going, oh my god, don't fall, please don't fall. Very high up there, brave getting down there. I was terrified. <laughs> uh, he was okay. Yeah, it was she wanted to do a cartwheel on the, on the little platform, but I, I wouldn't let her. You overruled, good, a good choice. And so, did, did you want to tell us a little bit about the film? an exploration of of purpose i suppose yeah <laughs> yeah i think it's just based on maybe conversations that we've had ourselves uh you know about life and, and that and then just trying to 
put that in an interesting setting and see how that sort of develops the idea. Yeah. Excellent. And so what's the, the name of the film? Philosophy. Philosophy, great. Okay, so uh, let's watch Philosophy by, uh, we got, uh, get the name right, uh, Kevin McDevitt and Cassia Cepeda. Guys, thank you very much for making the film and for getting in touch with us and everyone enjoy the film. Thanks guys. more worried about how we're gonna get back up to be honest I think you'll be able to do it I'm feeling a bit weak though I didn't have any breakfast this morning have you been using the weight I got you the 2kg mm -hmm. um, I've been thinking about it <laughs> journey of a thousand miles begins a thousand steps I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I wish I lived on a farm, you know. Like my granddad, he never had to go to the gym. The things were all heavier in the old days. It's true. Yeah, you should do it. I could totally picture you getting up at six in the morning every day, putting on your overalls, going out to milk the cows. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should get one of those smart watches, you know, fitness trackers. For all the running you do. Well, I mean, I'd have to start, but it might be motivation. Hmm. All you really need to run, though, is shoes and a road. I know, without data, it's pointless. How would I know if I'm getting anywhere? <laughs> look to the left, look to the right, see if the houses change. Scenery changes. No, no, I, I, I get bored too easily. I need charts, graphical representations of my internal pain. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if it'll make you happy. Who ever said anything about being happy? Why are you doing it then? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Get fit, healthy, live a long, fulfilling life? Mm hmm. Yeah. And what are you going to do with your one long and precious life? Well, the same thing I do now. <laughs> go. <laughs> it's so funny. Go out, go out for beers, play a little football, hang out with friends, that sort of thing. I sound just like my dad. Tomar cerveza, estar con mi hermano, estar con la charola. It's all he thinks is important, just spending time with my mother. Then I ask my mother, what do you think is important? And she says, hanging out with my father. Yeah, but I'm sure they wouldn't have said that 30 years ago, you know. They would have given a different answer, right? And what do your brothers say? Um, well, my older brother loves video games. Um, so he just wants to program and make video games. That's his purpose, you know, for the next 40 years. That's what he's gonna do, set. Yeah, because it makes him happy. Yeah, but it's not that simple, you know? Yeah, I know, but... Why are you I... alive? Why? <laughs> <laughs> no reason. Like, why do you get up every morning? Because it would be painful to lie in bed all day. Okay, so it's just mechanical. No, I do think it's important to have some kind of purpose. How do you find that purpose? Uh, 
you don't, it finds you. <laughs> okay. Well, no, 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 no. Uh, it should be... Obviously, it should be something that you can do. And I think also something that you like to do. People didn't always have the option to do what they like to do, you know? People were too busy worrying about staying alive and not dying. Yeah, but we do have the option. So why wouldn't we just take that? Well, if you really want to find if something is true, it's something that's not just contingent on the time you're living in and the country you're living in, you know? It should be something that works across generations or different places. And My pleasure. Pleasure. That's it. What pleasure is the point? Not love, not success, not giving to charity. Yeah, but those things are pleasurable. Like, charity is pleasurable, love is pleasurable. (laughs) Not always. (laughs) We could always live up here. You know, build a little shelter. Yeah, away from the edge. And fashion fishing rods out of willow branches catch fish right out of the river. Yeah. Make a little fire, cook the fish and some bread over it. Yeah, live like bridge trolls. But you know, good ones. We could leave presents for the people passing above, <laughs> swing up there, drop trinkets for the office workers and bike messengers yeah sing songs for them and tickle their ankles whisper affirmations apathy's hard on my soul bud you know i like treating stuff as important it's like church when you're a kid saying something matters just makes this light come out through my chest. Do you ever try not thinking? <laughs> yeah, all the time. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All his thumb is pointing at me. You're on. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, that was excellent. That was really, really good. I thought it was uh, r- really well written, really well acted. That was um, Kashi Cepeda and uh, Kevin McDevitt. Well done there, guys. That was excellent. Um, so, uh, do you have a few, a few comments? Yeah, Go to yeah. Comments correspondent, Matthew it, Blaney. Indeed. Hello, um, Matthew. How, how are you doing, Kenny? I'm in really the good. Studio Thank you very much. here now. Um, just about to read out the comments. Uh, JVP said, uh, Kenny Gohan is the bee's knees. The right here. Literally. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Leona. There's a, size, there's a size of bee's knees. I've got a very small knees. <laughs> uh, Leona said, holy, uh, in reference to the height uh, of the, in the film. Uh, Patrick Kelly said, it's a great couple. Sarah Barbosa uh, had to throw a hashtag censor Kenny in there, in, in the middle of those comments. Um, and Ludwig. Uh, Ludwig Banragan, uh, I'm not sure if I spelt that, but Ludwig uh, says, congrats to Kashi Sepida for philosophy and greetings from Rome. Um, Matt Kavanagh said, great actors. And then uh, Leona Doff said, this short has too much truth. Uh, Ludwig said, um, hi Alex, I know you. And uh, <laughs> to which Alex replied, indeed. And Sarah Barbosa said, loved all the angles. So Excellent. quite a few Good comments. Stuff. Very good. Thank you very much, Matthew. Um, so um, let me just say, uh, Xavier Kardish, if you're watching from uh, from New York, thank you very much. Um, he's always saying, saying that I say thank you very much. Too, thank you very much. much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, so hello, Xavier, if you're watching from New York. Um, we're going to go on to the next film now, which is made by uh, Nigel Ryan. And Nigel Ryan is going to be joining us on Zoom. Nigel, are you there? I'm here. How's it going, Kenny? I'm very good, thank you. How are you keeping? Can you- 
I'm not too bad. Yeah, yeah. Look, looking forward to seeing uh, the rest of the short. So far, so good. Good night yeah, again, so, as yeah, always. Great stuff so far. Lots more good stuff to come as well. Um, so tell us about uh, what you made. Okay, so this is um, this is Rodney Owl, and Rodney Owl is uh, is the moniker of um, a musician called Mark McConville. And Mark McConville used to play with the Cartoon Tees in Galway. He'd be well known on the music scene around, around the great band, yeah. and stuff. So um, Athen Rye Antiques is a small antique shop in Athen Rye, obviously. And uh, Dave McDermott, who, who owns the shop, last year asked me, could we do a series of music videos, spoken word, poetry, and just to promote the business and promote the arts. So we shot a series of videos. And this is the first of those videos we did. We did this one with, um, with Rodney Owl. We did another one with um, A.M. Shine. He's a gothic kind of um, uh, writer. He does dark, macabre kind of uh, Victorian murder mystery stories. We did a written word or a spoken word video with him. And then we did some poetry as well. So this is the first of these videos. So we're going to show one in a little cinema, hopefully every month, if, if you'll have them. Yeah, between absolutely. now and the end of the year, so I might be able to catch it. Today. Ray said he was doing one for every month, so I've done three. I think maybe four. I think you passed out. Ray now. He's done, so I might, <laughs> I, might come in second place. I might come in second place after Ray because he said he was going to do one every every month for the year. Well, he said he would. He said <laughs> <Yeah>. he would. <laughs> and where is he now? He's over there, cowering in the corner. How many has he done camera. so far? He's made. You made three or four. I he can imagine. Four. Yeah, you made four so far. Uh, Five. Yeah. Five. You'd, you'd bid five so far. But so yeah, you, 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 it'll be a tough race. It'll be okay. It'll be so I've, race. Done, I've done three. I've done three, and I've got two in tonight. And I'm going to do one for every other month, every month now for the end of the year. So tell him I'm nipping at his heels. Tell him I'm doing three next I want that trophy. Uh, is there Ray, a trophy? Says he's, Ray says he's doing three next month. So game is on. <laughs> okay. Game is on. Yeah, yeah, so the game's afoot. So, anyway, so here it is, yeah, and I hope everybody enjoys enjoys it. And um, we'll have another one next month, which will be a, a dark gothic tale. And then for the rest, they're like uh, comedy kind of ones. They're commentary, comedy poetry. So, yeah, so that's it, really. That's me. Excellent. I'm done. There you go. Oh, but I, I love the legs, man. Oh, well, thank you very much. I, I, I agree to myself. <laughs> I know, because it started off with legs, and then it was toga. And now it's legs again. So it's great. I love it. Yeah, the, the, the restrictions the restrictions were taken <laughs> off us by OGE. Okay, uh, Nigel, thank you very much, everyone. Enjoy okay. the film. Okay. Enjoy the submission by Nigel O'Brien. Thank you very much. Nigel, take care. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.
Excellent. That was uh, Nigel O'Brien there with a music video uh, done by Rodney Owl, Rodney Owl. And I didn't realise he was in the, the band uh, Cartoon Thieves because I remember seeing them years ago when they were supporting uh, Sharon Shannon in the Russian Dove. They're an excellent band. So great job there, Rodney, Rodney Owl and the song as well. And uh, hopefully we'll see more for you on the things that you were saying, uh, Nigel, more stuff to come. Um, I feel very vulnerable at the moment with the fact that uh, apparently when my flip flops are in view, everything's in view here. <laughs> I'll have to think more carefully about what I wear next time. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that, was, that was excellent. Um, before we go on to the next film, I just want to give a shout out to the, the PayPal link again. Uh, we've had a couple of people giving money already. Uh, thank you very much, Tracy Callahan, uh, Eva Lazinska, um, sorry, Eva, um, uh, Patrick Finn, uh, Patrick Kelly. Um, and uh, John Walters Painter and Colin, Colin Boyle. Thank you all very much, really appreciate it. Um, thank you all very, very much for, for, for the, the, the support. Um, and so uh, we're gonna to go to the next film, which is uh, made by Kevin O'Brien. And he's made stuff for the, he's, <laughs> what? I'll just also share the screen. What? <laughs> ask, people, ask their friends to share the screen. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, um, I just thought idea came to my head there now. Um, if you're watching this, uh, please do share the stream uh, on your Facebook pages so we can get more people watching and more people getting involved in it because uh, we want to get as many people watching the film as we can. So if, if you're watching, then just share the stream with people. And just want to let everyone know as well, we were going to stream on Facebook and Instagram, but we have a bit of a gremlin in the, in the system, so we're not streaming on Instagram, just on Facebook at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, share the screen if you can, get more people watching. Uh, we're gonna go to the next film now, which is excellent. Um, it's made by Kevin O'Brien. He's made a comedy sketch for the last few months. This one is, is really good as well, it's really funny. And it is called um, Not So Original. Um, he's, not, he's not actually in the country at the moment, he's out of the country at the moment. Boo, boo. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so uh, he, he recorded a pre-recorded introduction for us. So to introduce this film, please welcome Kevin O'Brien. Cinema. <clears throat> I can't really talk right now, but uh, my film is called Not So Original, and it's about a young fella trying to write some songs, and he thinks he's coming up with original ideas, but it turns out he's not, and his housemate has to, you know, break that to him, give him some hard facts. I hope you enjoy Not So Original. How are you? How are you? What are you up to? Oh, just jamming on the guitar, you know, coming up with a few ideas. Oh yeah? I think I might have come up with something pretty good. A few tunes, actually. Check this out. Why are you making that face? I think that's already a song. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman, you know. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is original. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I think I would have heard of a song called Hey, Mr. Postman. Check it out on Google or YouTube. Just I'll check it out. Uh, all right. Uh, check out this one. Oh, I need your love, babe. Guess you know it's true. Hope you need my love, babe. Just like I need That's the Beatles. Never heard of them. You don't know who the Beatles are. The Beatles? Might as well call yourself the Cockroaches. No one would ever get anywhere with a name like that. <laughs> You're fucking with me. I'm not fucking with you. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, Ringo Supernova. <laughs> well, they're stupid names. Check it out on YouTube or something. Fine. See what you think of this. Huh? I'd like to tell you a story about how my life got flipped turned upside down but you take a little moment and just sit right there I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town
that's the theme tune to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I mean, the chords are different. I wrote that today. It's a Kevin original. How could you not know the Fresh Prince of Bel Air? I don't know. I've never heard of it. So you've never heard of the show, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, yet you were naming the yet you were naming the characters, and why would you be singing about Bel Air? I don't know. I just decided to write a song about Bel Air. Will Smith? You don't know Will Smith? The black lad. Yeah, he's the black guy. Independence Day. Independence. Oh yeah, that was a good film. They blew up the White House. Yeah. Check out this next one. Covid may take you in the night Say you That's Blackbird by the Beatles. I wrote these all today. Well, I know how to play that song on the guitar too, so how could you have originally wrote it? Look, man, to be honest, I think this is this is all you. This is coming from a place of jealousy. Oh yeah, I'm so jealous. Really jealous. I think you've always been a little bit jealous of me. Always wondered, ooh, maybe someday, maybe someday I can write songs like Kevin. You've always thought that, haven't you? Yeah. Jealousy. Excellent. That was Kevin O'Brien there. That was hilarious, wasn't it? Yeah, very good. Very, very good. Very, good. Um, that's about the third one that he's made where it's just him acting two roles in a one sketch. And it's bloody so good, so yeah, it is. Very good. He's nailed yeah. it. And he's a great actor as well. Um, does everything by himself. Oh, he's good actor. The eye line perfect yeah. with the. Yeah. Jealous. Yeah. Um, that was excellent. So we've got a few comments here as well for, for Nigel and his film. Yeah, yeah. So, um, oh, so firstly, uh, Xavier said, yup, I'm here. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Victor, I, th I think th this is referring to the, the film uh, before Nigel's is congrats, um, good performances. Jamie Chi says, lovely short film. Um, Patrick Kelly says, uh, Rodney has a great voice. Eva says, uh, it's a beautiful piece. Damien, great performance and great video. And then uh, John Valtner's painter said, generic comment about Matthew's appearance to make Kenny feel less self-conscious. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, yeah, and, and then into uh, Kevin's, uh, just lots and lots of laughing emojis. Mm. And, uh, and uh, Max Webb commented on it saying, the Fresh Prince reboot, reboot just got its team song. I agree completely. Yeah. And might I add that I, you, can, you can see myself at the live stream. I'm looking at, because this is about 20 seconds ahead, this is the first time I've seen the, the, the wide shot of me in my shorts. And I can understand why there's such consternation over the shorts somewhere. And I'm realizing, okay, from now on, no more shorts, Kenny. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at going, Kenny, what are you doing? Uh, so anyways, I made some bad life choices. Um, okay, so uh, that was excellent. Uh, Kevin O'Brien, that was excellent. Very, very, very funny. Excellent job. We're going to go to the, the next film. And uh, to introduce it, we got uh, Sarah Barbosa. Sarah, how are you? Good, how are you, Kenny? Very good, thank you. So, are you in Canada at the moment or are you in Galway? No, this is my first uh, live stream in Galway, actually. Excellent. And so, are, are you in Galway <laughs> for long? Depending. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so how are you finding uh, Galway versus Canada? A lot better, a lot better for sure. Really? Why is that? Yeah, like the restrictions and everything. <laughs> oh, so it's, it's more, more strict in Canada? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought we were quite strict here, <laughs> but okay, that's cool. Um, have you been on the Spanish Arch drinking or anything like that? Or, uh, you, you've yeah, been... was there today. It was actually really nice. But you cleaned up after yourself? <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> So tell us about your film. Uh, so I decided to do it based on basically how um, how everyone's dealing with FaceTime during lockdown with their parents, how like you just decide to be on a call and then your parents like this the whole time. <laughs> but this time I decided to do it where I'm the one like this the whole time. And my mom is the one that knows how to do it properly. <laughs> 
and it's a, it's a great twist and I think it works very well. Um, I'm, I'm actually, yeah. I think, mentioning your parents, I think my mother might be watching this. So if you're watching this, hello, ma'am. Um, and <laughs> I, I have the exact same thing with her doing FaceTime. It's always like you see the, the top of the heads or like the uh, ceiling and like the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. And so you made this in Canada? In Canada, yeah. Excellent. And so what's the name of this? Uh, hashtag zoom in, zoom in, zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so uh, Sarah Barbosa, thank you very much for uh, for making the film, and uh, we'll see, meet you for coffee or something in, in Galway. Say hello and meet meet yeah, in person. Yeah, for sure. Excellent, yeah. good stuff. Everyone, enjoy the film. Good. Sarah, thank you very much. Bye. Bye bye. This is like a hashtag fest. Hashtag move back. Try to be too hip. Hashtag mom too hip. That's a good one. Hashtag mom's too hip. I like it. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Hashtag Vodafone. Did you ever call your mother? Too many? Should I move back from the hashtags? Why does she have a phone? She never answers it. Oh, Sarah, answer. Hi, Sarah, how are you? How you been? Grand, been good, nothing I can't handle. Oh, sure, that's good. But Sarah, I can't see you. Hashtag too close. Hashtag, can you see me now? You can't what? Oh, I can't see you on my screen. Hey, but you're not gonna talk that close to someone and you meet them in a pub. I think you're a lunatic. On my screen? What do you mean, my screen? I can only see your nostrils. Hashtag nostrils. <laughs> My nose? That's odd. Hashtag I can't unsee that. I don't want to see any bats in the cave or anything. <laughs> Hashtag bats in the cave. <laughs> Ugh, mom, you're embarrassing me. Why would you be seeing bats? This is a video call. Maybe I shouldn't have said bats. Bad timing. Mom, you shouldn't have mentioned bats. Get with the times, it's 2020. Sarah, my dear, zoom out. Zoom what? What if I did this? Does this look better? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what are you doing? No, zoom out so I can see you. Can't you see me right now though? <laughs> it's okay, no big deal. No, that's what I'm trying to tell you. How do you even zoom out of a video call? What are you doing? FaceTime and not mine. That's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> what do you mean? You're zoomed in. Hold the phone away. Oh, that makes sense. Coming, zoomy, zoomy, zoom. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get your father some GAA shorts. Hashtag GAA boy. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, maybe I'll buy him. Christmas. Not the Gucci pair though, that's way too expensive. But yeah. Oh, maybe, yeah. And maybe some red socks. I don't know. I heard it's a thing. Hashtag red socks. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Excellent. That was Sarah Barbosa there with, uh, with that film. Excellent. Uh, zoomy zoom. Hashtag zoomy zoomy zoom. Uh, thank you, Sarah, for getting involved and for, uh, for making the film for us. And um, it's actually uh, her father is involved with, with the uh, Air Hope, who is sponsoring Little Cinema. So uh, again, we want to say a big thank you to Air Hope, who are sponsoring tonight. Um, it's, it's a huge uh, benefit for us to be able to sponsor it and to give the boys some money for, for what they're doing because they're putting so many hours working into what to do here. So uh, thank you very much to um, Air Hope and well done again to uh, Sarah Barbosa. Um, so uh, my comments correspondence. Yeah, hi Kenny, how was, are you? Uh, you're not, you decided not to wear shorts, you left me hanging. <laughs> I did, I did indeed. Um, yeah, so Literally. They, Literally, yeah. <laughs> so there's there's uh, still quite a few comments um, with uh, Kevin's film before that, so saying brilliant film, loved it, um, lots more laughing emojis, and then with Sarah's uh, hashtag zoomy zoomy zoom, 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 zoom um, 
Uh, Vanessa says, yay, Sarah. Um, Patrick says, great, mom, actor. Um, Vanessa, hashtag so good. Um, Leona Duff says, hilarious. Um, JVP said, uh, hashtag team Kenny's mom. That's, okay, that sounds reasonable. Yeah, <laughs> and then... Uh, I think. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> JVP, you need to explain yourself. <laughs> um, Paddy... Paddy Farrelly said, Kenny, you should do a night of shorts, no pun intended. That could be done. <laughs> That's on my private channel. Yeah. Uh, Vanessa again, uh, hashtag congrats Sarah. So yeah, lots of love for uh, Sarah's film. Uh, Alan Murphy just said there, hey, that was very good. So lots of love for both films. Coming cool, in. excellent. Matthew Blaney, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Back to you, Kenny, in the studio. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. Back to me in the studio. Okay, so next up we have a fantastic music video. And to introduce it, we've got uh, K Money and ND. Or have you got just, is it uh, K Money? Excellent. So how are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good, thank you. Um, so um, tell me about the music video that you made. Uh, so basically, uh, me and ND, you know, we had an idea like last year that we wanted to write a song about our town. So we came together and we wanted to add a movie aspect to the music video because it gave it like a different dimension and it would be like more appealing to um, viewers. So like mm. we added the little uh, <coughs> thing in the beginning, so yeah. I think it's, 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 it's excellent and it's based in, yeah. are you based, you're based in Longford Town, is it? Longford Town, yeah, Longford, yeah. I, I, know, I used to go to college with pe people who were from Longford Town. Uh, they were absolute crazy lads, but uh, it's it's a, it's a good town, is it, yeah? Yeah, it's a good town. It's calm, yeah. Cool. So, uh, are you rapping for long? Um, about two years now, and then did the same here. Yeah. We were cool, rapping together, stuff. so yeah, around two years. Cool, good stuff. And have you any more plans for any music videos on the way, or have you got some already made? Yeah, definitely. We have a lot on the way, and like we hope to incorporate that uh, music aspect to a lot of our videos as well. So it's not like just that's it. Like we have a lot more coming. Cool. Well, when you do make more, get in touch with us, and we're happy to either have them yeah, on a live stream or in, in our uh, live uh, live shows, like our regular show, mm -hmm. if, if we ever go, if we ever go back to normal. Um, yeah. So um, tell us about tell us the name of the of the the, the song. Yeah. So the song is called Long for Town. Yeah. Excellent. Good stuff. And so um, this is a K, K Money and ND, and the song is called Long for Town. Thank you very much for making uh, making a song and great job on it. And everyone watching, enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's crazy, fam. Thank you, man. Oh, my God. But where did you come? Fam, you lacked. This guy, man. This guy, fam. Next time, though. Next time. I will boy, turn off the speaker. Turn off the speaker, fam. Come on. Respect, fam. Yeah. Yo, bro. What's good? Yeah, it's mad. I seen something though, I'm gonna send it to you. Send it, fam. Send it. <laughs> I've got an idea still. Yeah, let's link up. Say no more, say no more. Money, long for town, born and bred. Long for town, where I made my bread. Big as I cannot chat to them. Big as I do not chat to them. Longford town, born and bred Longford town's where I made my bread Biggins, I gonna chat to them Biggins, I do not chat to them I'm bread. dripping on the rock, sipping, dripping is the watch Walking like Presley, I make the whole place rock I hustle like Nipsey, I'm never gonna stop Never I'm popping OT, then I'm dishing out this crop I can't rate you if you fuck with them, a pagan can't be my friend She's probably trying to line me up I'm praying that I'll never get touched The money that we make is too much What she talk to, watch what you say watch. He's looking snakey and spot you the next day She wants me to beat it Nothing like MJ, just in the location Like Santander Longford town, born and raised You can get fun if you wanna play games We don't talk too much, we don't make false claims Drip on my neck so you know it's gonna rain Longford town, born and raised 
Town full of misfits and misfits. I remember cold days, I would take chip. Six figure baby, I won't stop till I get rich. I'ma work hard for myself and my mum. But this shit ain't easy when you come from the slums. Counting up the racks, I was always at a sum. So focus on the bag and stop playing with the guns. The blue siren dead, I always used to run. My mentality's changed. I made it for the bag, not the fame. Long for town, born and bred. Long for towns where I made my bread. Biggins, I cannot chat to them. Biggins, I do not chat to them. Long for town, born and bred. Long for towns where I made my bread. Biggins, I do not chat to them. Biggins, I do not chat to feds. Long for town, born and bred. Excellent. That was the music video Longford Town and uh, it was by uh, K Money and uh, ND. Now, let me just say uh, there's a bit of an issue with the streaming of that because uh, it was in 4K and when it was put out to you, it was uh, only 1080 of that was shown. So that was uh, an issue on, on our part. So sorry about that. So the guys who made the music video, really sorry about that. We're, we're going to share the link in the in the stream and also share it tomorrow and let, let everyone see it in, in its full glory because it's, it's a brilliant music video. It's so good. We're just all talking about it here ago and it was so cool to see a video where we were just so confident and like uh, so, so full of uh, sort of full of energy and it's for Longford Town, which is incredible. Uh, so um, sorry about that, guys, uh, for anyone who's watching it. Uh, you'll be able to see it either in the link and in our comments, which is already up there. I put it up already, uh, or else we'll share it tomorrow as well. But uh, well done, guys, on the music video is excellent. Uh, keep making more stuff and sending it to us, and uh, we'll, we'll stream more of it, or show more of it. Um, so we'll go on to our. our do you get a few comments to go to? Yeah, okay. yeah. Sorry, loads, I was ignoring yeah. my comments correspondent. Uh, Matthew Blaney, over to you in the uh, in the comments correspondent area. How are you, Kenny? How's it going? I'm very good, um, thank you. Yeah, loads and loads of comments. Uh, coming in about K Mooney's and Andy's uh, tune. Uh, just before that, uh, Bip said, can you please adjust the white balance on Kenny's legs? <laughs> so uh, if you could look after that. <laughs> Irene uh, said, so much fun, Sarah, hashtag your ma. Um, Leona says, uh, what a freaking banger. Um, Max said, straight out of Longford. Um, Nigel, wow, this is so good, guys. Matt Kavanagh said, this is great. There's so, so many... Um, Bip Henderson said, cool video, loving it. Uh, Eva, awesome tune. Patrick Kelly says, Longford Town is now cool. Um, <laughs> Sarah Barbosa, guess we should all go to Longford Town. Christine says, great, great stuff. Love seeing Ireland's diversity being highlighted. Uh, fair play, guys. Colin Fleming. Um, Amber Shonoff, love it, class, loads, loads of love. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a fantastic music video. Brilliant. So, so yeah, good. Brilliant. And if you want to see that uh, on YouTube, the YouTube channel is on um, uh, Jerfuck TV, D E A or F A C H TV. He's a serious uh, video maker, yeah. yeah Lots yeah. of. So it, it does justice to the song and the music video is great. Um, so is that the end of the comments? That is, yeah, yeah. Back to me in the studio. Back to you over in the studio, Kenny. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll take, take the baton from you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, excellent. Uh, so, um, Maybe will I mention PayPal just in case uh, if anyone wants to uh, to get involved through PayPal if you want to see this as like a night at the cinema or a night at the cinema uh, you can go to our PayPal link which is uh, paypal.me forward slash little cinema and you just like if you don't no one has to give anything but if you want to give like say a five entry you can but again there's no obligation on anyone and everything that's given to us is appreciated um, and so we're going to go on to our next uh, filmmaker, and that is going to be introduced by uh, JVP, John Walters Painter, who was making some derogatory comments about my mother, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and his dog. <laughs> uh, uh, John, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, and actually, I was complimenting your mom. I'm saying, I'm, 
more in favor of your mom and dad than you. Uh, so. he's, he's digging. He's digging a hole. Digging a hole for himself. <laughs> uh, I'm only joking. I know. I know you're, you're only uh, only uh, only uh, have have, have uh, uh, I've ran dog. out of words. <laughs> See the dog. <laughs> so um, you got you got Sturdy with you there. Yeah, Sturdy is here. Uh, she was the inspiration for this uh, this this short film. Uh, actually, it was uh, after I think it was the second live um, uh, little cinema where there were a lot of dog films uh, that I came up with this idea uh, for a, a doggy Zoom call, uh, ran by uh, Nigel O'Brien, who's uh, we've been talking about uh, some other. Uh, uh, films and projects, and he liked the idea, so we decided to go for it. Uh, and then I kind of cursed myself uh, by writing a script, uh, spoofing uh, a play famous uh, for waiting. Uh, mm -hmm. And so it took several months to get everybody together, uh, to get all the dogs and actors and, uh, together. Uh, and thankfully, uh, Colin Fleming helped uh, with the editing, did a great job. Uh, Colin, um, uh, Nigel was helpful as well. So uh, glad that it's finally uh, up and, and, and ready, uh, and hope everybody enjoys it. So thank you, everybody who was involved. We had people from uh, Canada and Spain. Um, it was quite the international project, and certainly it's done with uh, <laughs> making her appearance. Uh, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a great idea, and I thank everybody for uh, for pitching in. We asked a lot of people to be involved. Um, it probably bit off way more than we could chew, if you'll pardon the pun. Um, uh, and so rather than talking more, <laughs> longer than the actual film, I uh, hope everybody enjoys. So thank you, Kenny, and a little summer. Uh, this is actually uh, my, my first time seeing it because we, when you got this, because uh, Carl only finished the edit this afternoon. And so I don't think any, yeah. anyone, anyone here has seen it yet. So this is our, 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 pre our premiere as well. Um, yeah. And uh, this is... Uh, this third month, which which is going to be in, but this time it's actually here. So uh, you made yeah. It. The the first time it was uh, like I said, you know, they, they say not Ambitious. to work with children or 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 animals, and so I decided to write a script. Uh, I think the original script was was more I, maybe a dozen dogs originally. Uh, Nigel talked me down uh, from that, <laughs> um, and that was just a matter of finding time to to do it all. And uh, I mean. Uh, Nigel and Colin, I mean, they have paying jobs that they have uh, more important things to do. So I appreciate them taking some time out of their busy schedules to do this. And um, yeah, hopefully it was worth the wait, uh, ironically enough. So this is called Waiting for Doggo. Yeah. Excellent. JVP, Waiting for Doggo. Th thank you very much and talk to you soon. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers, thank everyone. You. G'day, mates. Thanks for joining us, Joey. We're still waiting on Doggett again. Not so loud, mate. You'll wake up our humans. No worries. Now, I hate to start without everyone here, but Doggett's missed our first two team what? support group okay. chats, so yeah. I'll just get started. My human is on a lockdown health kick. I'm being dragged to the park three to four times a day. My paws are about ready to fall off. I just really need a nap. I'm dying for an actual walk. Being tossed in a tiny back garden doesn't count as exercise. Dog texted yesterday to suggest I dig under the fence and take a runner. I'm hearing a lot of frustration, Daisy. Can anyone else relate? Just when I was coming to terms with being neutered, the lockdown happened. Hmm. Now my humans are humping two, three times a day. You must be kidding. Dog get emailed to suggest the stare of shame, but they're into it. Ugh. That can't be easy. I can send you a link on resources dealing with neutering related mental health issues. At least your humans are leaving you alone. I've got five puppy humans home from school all day long. I'm constantly getting passed around and fought over like the last chew toy at the kennel. Hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. My humans saw Doggo's Instagram account and so it made me one. And now my life is one continuous photo shoot. I know I'm cute AF human but let a sleeping dog lie good girl tiger rest is important yeah well my human is teaching itself to play the illin pipes i'm going deaf over here doggo pm'd me suggesting chewing it up but i nearly broke a couple of teeth getting through the case anushka i can't imagine the pain you must be in hold on speaking of dogged it looks like he's just logged in we finally get to see what he meow <laughs> 
flaming Nora. Excellent. That was Waiting for Doggo there. That was by uh, John Bolton's painter. And uh, Colin Fleming did the edit. And uh, Nigel Bynum was, was involved as well. That was brilliant. Uh, yeah. I, I was able to watch it on the phone the first time seeing it. It was really, really good. Um, and we had uh, maybe a lack of dogs last month. I think that made up for it for sure. Yeah. Uh, and that looks very, very difficult to do. So well done. That was very good, wasn't it? The, do the dogs were brilliant. Very, very well acted by the dogs as well. Um, so you've got a few comments there, uh, yeah, Matthew Blaney? I do indeed. Um, uh, let me just give you your introduction, Matthew Blaney, your comments correspondent, over to you. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> um, so uh, Christine, uh, the, dog, the dog's name is Sawney, right? So Sawney, yeah. uh, lots of heart emojis, lots of love shown for the, for the film. Um, Colin Fleming, woohoo, Max, uh, you had me at doggy Zoom call, well said, I agree. Um, Gaia said, love the title, Patrick, this is very clever. Um, Irene, well done. Leoma, this is everything. And there's quite a few more. Um, Amber said, our JVP and gang, that was so good. Paddy Farrelly said, rough, rough, fantastic work, John. Eva said, no offense to the rest of the year, but those were the prettiest actors of the night. I agree. And lastly, uh, John just thanks everybody for uh, being involved and for watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to reposition myself, so I'm not so like uh, I'm, not, I'm not doing a Sharon Stone in it. You know? <laughs> um, that, that, that was a really good film, though. Very, very good. I, I can watch myself change, uh, switch in position right now. Um, okay, so uh, that was very good. Don't wear shorts next time, Kenny. Um, uh, that was very, very good. Uh, well done to uh, JVP, uh, Colin Fleming, and Nigel Bryan, and to all the the actors and dogs involved in that. Uh, very good. So we're going to go on to the next film, which is our uh, penultimate film of the night, our second last film of the night. And it is uh, really good. It's a great documentary, or kind of a documentary. It is a documentary. Um, but to introduce it, please welcome to the to the little cinema, uh, Manolo. Uh, let me get the name right. Uh, Manolo Marceno and Lakshika Ceres. Lakshika. Lakshika, Lakshika Saracen, I always get the names wrong, uh, pr pronunciations wrong. Uh, and uh, guys, uh, uh, Gro Tricorle, tr Tricolore, how are you? Yes, yes. Tricolore. Oh God, I don't have my head, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, how are you? Uh, yes. I can hear you now, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Can you hear us now? I can okay. hear you, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So basically it was, yeah, as uh, you said, it's um, a kind of documentary, you know, um just uh but basically a little trip between the relationship uh, of couple irish italian couple uh, we knew a few a few in the Galway, so we decided to interview them uh, actually this is a project um, um yeah so you, you know you know the, our our little group from the, the 48 hour challenges the last kings we call yeah. ourselves yes. so we, we tried to get the gang back together and make something um, <clears throat> but we kind of lost a few along the way so we are looking up, up for people to contact us if they want to join us and make stuff we're always in you know need of new heads and creatives so if anyone's watching give us a shout <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh, you did uh, every oh, the, the three 40 hour challenges so far you did, you did, did them and you basically comprised them of people who just said who must get involved in this and they just started working with you much, and ever, yeah. ever, ever since then you've got your kind of your team together from just people who met randomly so yeah anyone yeah, watching this you want to get involved yeah. get involved with these guys they're, they're excellent they're very very talented <laughs> um, yeah so give us a shot if anyone wants to make something for next next month's little cinema actually yeah <laughs> yeah. But, yeah that'd be great uh, and so yeah. um is this called tricolore tri 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 Gra tricolore, uh, gra is the um, Irish word for love. Uh, yeah. Tricolore, it's basically the tree, uh, the, the name of uh, the Italian flag, hmm. uh, because it means uh, three colors, and actually also the Irish flag has the three colors. So I like this kind of uh, similarity. So I put together this kind of title, 
half Irish, half Italian, and, and we talk about a uh, couple Italian and Irish. So th that's it. <laughs> Excellent. And it, it's really good. And so everyone watching this, enjoy this. This is by Melolo and like Lakshika. So everyone enjoy and we'll see you soon, guys. And, and, and a few others. And, and a few others. others. Oh, and yeah. a few others. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Amore mio, ti amo. Cobblestone streets, winding canals, ancient bridges. Italy, the cradle of love. But this isn't Venice. It's the seaside city of Galway in the west of Ireland, where Italian amore has found Irish gras. We spoke with some of Galway's Italian and Irish couples to find out how their international love works. My name is Martina Pacciarotti. I'm from Italy, from a very small town in the east coast, in the centre of Italy. My name is Carol Lynch. Uh, I'm Irish, uh, originally from County Monaghan. My name is Giorgia. I come from Verona in Italy, in the north of Italy. My name is Mark and uh, I'm originally from Lurgan in County Armagh. My name is Elena. I am Italian, from northern Italy, from Turin, originally. I'm Kate. I'm originally from Dublin, via Australia, I suppose growing up there. Yes. So we met at a house party, yeah, very typical Irish uh, setting for like a million of people. So I was there and then you came in. We were standing in the kitchen and, yeah, I remember that. and we were talking about, you were like, oh, what's your favorite band? And then I said, Pink Floyd. And I was like, what's yours? And you were like, Pink Floyd. And we just stopped talking about Pink Floyd. That was the very first time we met, but we actually didn't start dating until nearly a year after that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, well, we, we met for, through living in this house, really. Uh, we didn't uh, meet in the conventional sort of, you know, out on a date or anything like that. We were living here as, a, as housemates. Well, it was kind of a very fast track. As in, I moved here and I think two weeks later we were... Two weeks? Yeah. Was it two weeks? I was... don't know. I was drunk most of the time. <laughs> We were met in Nocton's through our common friend Eddie. I was, uh, at that time, I was like three months only here in Ireland. I was outside Nocton's and Eleanor was there sitting down at a table and, you know, that was it. That was, that was, that was it, I was met. Yeah. There was no sort of language barrier to be no, honest with you. Like, it was easy for me, I think. It was yeah. just like... Yeah, that was crazy actually. The language didn't really get in the way. So. I thought she was beautiful, first of all. I wasn't very good at it. Is she Italian or Spanish? I'm not sure. Uh, but then, obviously, I knew. I think at the time, at this like, really stereotypical, but I think I was making, trying to make my own pizzas at the time. Um, I liked the fact that it was very easy to talk to him, and then we could talk about a lot of different things. I like also like the way that like you weren't like shy with people. Like I. Yeah, you know, because I am like a little bit shy, so I couldn't really be with somebody else like me. It just there wouldn't be wouldn't be a good match. What I like about you, and I liked at the time when I met you, is you know, Mark is not really the typical Irishman, but he's all about the pub and you know, finishing working and having to go to the pub and stuff. Might be because he actually works, you know, the music business. So when he's off. The last thing that he wants to do is go into the pub. Keith is a, a very good heart and I love him because he's so generally, if you see Keith, he's Keith. He doesn't hide nothing. It's like what it is. It makes me laugh and I, I can feel him present all the time. So he's with me. When well, we made each other laugh and we still make each other laugh. Yeah. We still dance. Oh yeah. We still, you know, <laughs> go crazy every now and then. And... One thing that I still am not used too much. Well, I'm used to it, but I still don't understand about the Irish, you know, all that rush of going to the pub and just gulping down as many pints as you can. Well, for sure, the culture of drinking is amazing. It's, I love it, but um, it's the time. It's so, <laughs> it's <true. laughs> so in Italy, we don't have pubs. We don't have this culture of the pubs. As an Irishman, I do like, you know, pub socialness 
the way of socializing like it is quite different like from Italian to Irish like although I think I've adopted the Irish way like quite well you know some days I'm just more quiet and you know you, you do like you like people though you like being among people mm. we do have lots of debates which is nice we always like you know debate like kind of like big topics or yeah even if you don't agree I all small things really you know and then you forget about it after half an hour and uh, and it's gone. I have a tendency, you know, again, it, it's probably an Irish thing, you know, ah, it's grand. Yeah, you yeah. Know, and then for, uh, I step in and I was like, no, you know, when it's not grand, it's not grand. Irish people are, I think it's more if there's an argument, it's really an argument. Whereas it always seems to me like Italians kind of you just have an argument and then it's forgotten about, like very quickly or something. Yeah, I think yeah. the first when we started going out, I invited Martina over for dinner and I ended up, I think, making burgers at like 10 o'clock at night. It was 11 o'clock. It was 11 o'clock. It was 11 o'clock. Uh, but apparently, the dinner has to be had by 8. Yeah, that was the thing, like, you know, I had to lunch and dinner and snack in the middle. You know, we have a deal, we have dinner together at like 8 o'clock. They're food Nazis. You know? They're food Nazis. <laughs> they, uh, everything has to be done either this way, that way. You can't add this or take away that or, you know, it's like... I did have a carbonara sandwich, and I am guilty of it, but hey, it was lovely. I have to say, I recommend I'm still it. Salty about it. <laughs> <laughs> but I was going to work in the morning. And I don't no, know there are it. no excuses. <laughs> Just don't. Thinking about going out with an Italian girl, don't ever have a carbonara sandwich. <laughs> they never let you no. forget about it. Ah, oh, sure, it's grand when they're together, but what will they reveal on the hot seat? Irish people are... Fun. Great crack. Community orientated. Mad. <laughs> Just, they're a bit mad, actually. They're, they're, they're a mad race of people. Funny. Italian people are... Opinionated. Very opinionated. Down to earth. A bit more forthright in, in, with their opinions. Noisy. <laughs> Very similar to the Irish people. That's the way I see it. Tell me a favorite expression. It's grand, or it's all a bit of crack. Conosco i miei polli. Rosso di sera, bel tempo si spera. Well, they would be mostly really kind of very northern ones. Um, uh, I don't know, catch yourself on. <laughs> Do you get on with each other's families? I think they like me. <laughs> First thing her dad would did was just offer me a drink. My mom loves Carol. Like she's constantly defending him, like everything that happens, like she always takes his side and... I think my brothers and sisters, I mainly talk about them, they, they seem to like her about Oh, they're great. No, they're, they're great, but they're mad. They're lovely, lovely, lovely people. Really are, you know. Kids' family is amazing. Loves my mum, you know, she's an Irish mummy. But my parents love him a lot. Who takes the lead in the bedroom? Martina. Yeah. Definitely. Again, I think that's the Italian fashion. Me. <laughs> yeah. That would probably be more her side of the, the thing, really. Yeah, I mean, it depends. It depends. I'd say half enough. No, it has to be Italian. They're just a bit more racy. Look, Ferrari. Come on. Turn me. Me. <laughs> How do you see your future? I think I'm more of a take things one day as they come, which are, I think, Martina, if you, I think if you were to ask Martina the same question, she probably has a 10, 15 year plan. You know, Carlo will say like, oh, we cross the bridge when we come to it. So I guess that's what we'll do. <laughs> I would really like to freeze this time and uh, make it last forever. Our own house would be a big thing, I think. We live pretty much in the present, actually. Um, a good relationship that, you know, we just, I just don't even think about that. We're, we we'll just get through it. And... The future may be uncertain, but these Italian-Irish couples wouldn't have it any other way. Slán from Galway. Vi mando baci.
Excellent. That was a great documentary there. That was by uh, Milolo, Marceno and uh, Lakshika Saracen. Well done, guys. That was excellent. And like they were saying, if you want to get involved with anything that, that they're doing, uh, you can check them out. Um, they're both on Facebook. And there's a little cinema collaboration group where if you want to, on Facebook, you can join that and uh, you can make contact with them in that group and say, look, I want to make stuff with you. I think you're good. I think you're great. Um, and want to get involved with you. So do feel free to get involved with them. Like they're saying, they want people to get in touch with them. Um, and I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who is uh, uh, um, supporting us through PayPal. So huge thank you to, I don't know the first name, but M. Breen, thank you very much. Uh, Lakshika Sarasin, thank you very much. Leisha Thornton, thank you very, very much. Uh, Miriam Donahue, thank you, Miriam. Uh, Tracy O'Callaghan, uh, Eva uh, Lazinska, thank you again. Um, Patrick Flynn, Patrick Kelly, uh, John Walters Painter. Um, and just lastly, uh, Colin, Boyne, which, uh, Colin Boyle, which was from a few days ago. Thank you all very, very much. We really appreciate the support you've given. Um, if anyone wants to support the Little Cinema, the paper link is up on screen there. Um, really appreciate it. Um, and let's see, there's, uh, the lads mentioned in, the, in their introduction uh, the 48 hour challenge. And we just got news uh, yesterday that we will be able to do the 48 hour challenge again this year. Uh, there's a few changes that we'll do in it though. Um, we don't have a date for it yet because we literally just got news that we can do it yesterday. Um, so we're going to do it uh, at some stage in the next, next few months. So watch this space of what we're going to do. Uh, but we're going to do it with the, with the current um, COVID restrictions which are in place. I don't think we'll be able to do it all in Galway. So we're going to host it from Galway and let people make films in Ireland um, and uh, then submit them to us uh, digitally to Galway and we'll stream, uh, stream it all then from Galway when we do the stream. Um, so it'll be the same as those four, but just it'll all be remote. Um, so I think what, what we might do is um, the, the teams who are involved in the, in the 40 hour challenge before, we'll give them first dibs and get the team together. Um, and then if there's still space left, we'll open up to the public. So uh, watch the space, keep an eye on our Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And uh, when we uh, announce any details, they'll get in touch with us. Uh, but it's lots of fun. Um, the lads here were involved in it last year and the year before, and uh, it's a great chance to make, make films. And like the lads were saying uh, from Last Minute Kings, Manolo and Lakshika, uh, they got together a group of people to, together who didn't know each other, who were still making films now. So it's a great place to, uh, to meet other filmmakers. Um, Matthew, you did it a couple of times. You enjoyed yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I did. It was brilliant. Um, I was on Barry Fahey's team and Teresa's mm. team the year before. Yeah, mm. great fun. A very good, very good host of it, isn't there? The host was excellent, <laughs> exceptional. Was he wearing shorts? Not that time. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, well. um, but, uh, yeah, exceptional host. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we've got a few comments to read out. So, Matthew, yeah, you got some yeah. comments there? Loads of uh, love shown from Manolo and Lekshika's uh, documentary. So, uh, uh, firstly, uh, Eva did actually say, come on, Kenny, you do have to do Sharon Stone. <laughs> Um, I really don't think that the internet needs that right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then Irene uh, agreed, saying, Kenny, embrace showing some leg. Um, Bi <laughs> Bips, <laughs> Bips said, N nice doc, um, Lakshika and Manolo. M Michael Patrick Breen said, uh, lovely. John Vontner's paper, ah, uh, isn't this grand? Matt Kavanagh said, questo e fantastico. Um, Patrick Kelly said, great film. There's lots of uh, comments coming in now that the, the film is finished. Um, uh, let me see. Damien says, lovely. Mike, uh, Nigel O'Brien, that was great. Lovely. Brittany says, bravo. Um, Bello, uh, sorry, Gaia says, bello, bello, bello. Um, John Vaultner's painter says, uh, it's important to support the arts, support each other. Amanda Rose Fabstein loved it. Um, and yeah, just comments are pouring in still. So yeah, well done, Lakshika and Manolo. Excellent. And uh, before we go to the last film, I might just say as well that uh, since this is our first, this is our fifth uh, live stream and uh, in the five live streams which we've done, there's been 81 films made, which is pretty incredible. Um, and so most of those, I'd say the majority of them were made sp specifically for the Le Cinema, which is incredible. So um, I think it's important when you're in going through something like, like the lockdown, like the, the COVID restrictions that you have some sort of an outlet to, uh, to be making stuff and to give yourself a reason to be creative and that kind of thing. So uh, thank you very much for everyone who's getting involved with the Le Cinema for the last few months. Doing the live stream um, was something which we didn't really know would, would be feasible. It's only feasible because of the, the guys from Unbound Media came on board. So again, like I said, the start of the night, thank you very much to uh, Adrian Conway. 
uh, Dave O'Malley, uh, Finn Gerrity, Ray Grady, and, uh, and also um, Matthew Blaney. Thank you all very much for making this happen. It really wouldn't have happened, especially uh, Adrian Conway coming on first of all, saying he'd, he'd do this. Um, and also for um, uh, the sponsorship tonight, which is amazing, from Airhub. Uh, thank you very, very much. We really appreciate that. It's, um, it's, uh, it's a fantastic uh, online market, which is now open to go away where you can um, sell stuff, you can buy stuff, you can get jobs there, you can post jobs there if you want someone uh, for to fill a role for you. You can, you can uh, look it up there. The, the website is uh, airhub.com and you can also do, just look up on, uh, on Facebook, uh, airhub, E-Y-R-E, -E, um, space hub, and it's fantastic. It's, so if, if you're in Go, it's a, it's a space which is specifically for you to, to buy and sell stuff and to uh, see what you need. Um, it's excellent. And the guy who runs it, uh, Rick, Rick Barbosa, is a great guy very generous and very um, very supportive of people in Galway. So check that out. Um, so uh, sorry for keeping the, the last filmmaker waiting. He's it, worth the wait though. I think his, his documentary is fantastic. So to join us for the, the last film of the night, please welcome to Little Cinema, Jonathan DeBurka Butler. Jonathan, how are you? How are you, Kenny? Are you well? I'm very good, thank you. So, thank you for, for your patience for holding on all night. Not, not, not at all. You're, you're getting a bit of a slagging about your uh, shorts during the night. I was more concerned about your Inter Milan talk, to be honest with you. What's the story with that, if I can ask you? What, are you? Are you an AC Milan supporter? No, I, I, I lived in Italy. It's been a huge Italian team throughout the night, but I lived in Italy for about 10 years and I was a Roma season ticket holder. So like, I'd, I'd have a, an actual sort of... Um, bit of a hatred really for Inter Milan so I'm just wondering what the story is like well to be honest I just saw that somewhere about 20 years ago maybe 15 years ago and I thought that looks charity cool. shop I hope yeah yeah I assume yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah it was in someone's bin and I just picked it up and I thought I love that <laughs> <laughs> and then he was heavy as a netty he was cool he was very cool yeah he's good yeah yeah that's true yeah. that's true yeah yeah but still the wrong team but anyway look we'll, yeah. it'll well, be all Roma, right. Roma were cool with Totti he was he was yeah, that, that's when I was there. I used to see him every week uh, or every second week. So that was that was uh, that was pretty good. And Batistuta and the like. Uh, yeah, oh, Batistuta, yes. Yeah, Cafu and Aldair, all those great players. But anyway, you know. Well, well let's um, do a different uh, football themed uh, little semi live stream. <laughs> you definitely. I maybe I'll go over and make a documentary about all those lads. Play tennis with them or something like that. That'll be. I'll good go with you. I'll go with you. I'll film it with you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <fantastic. laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, we're, we're, actually we're all yeah. going to go okay. yeah. <laughs> yourself and all of us going to go over there and make a, make a documentary about Italian football um, yeah and so, play tennis uh, with them. Yeah. yeah so tell us about your, your documentary yeah so uh, it's called One Day in April which is a bit of a strange title because uh, I actually shot most of it in March um, but it, it, it happened at the beginning of lockdown when the kids were uh, off school and I wanted the older fella who is Fionn, uh, who is now eight, to uh, come out and do something with me, you know, we thought it'd be a bit of a bonding sort of a thing. And uh, he basically came out and held the camera and we went around town just before we weren't supposed to go out around town. But of course, we got a few dirty looks and the like, but that was mm -hmm. fine. Uh, and it was a really beautiful day. And um, we ended up making this film. And then I started interviewing the two of them the, the eight-year-old and the six-year-old about how they felt about it and uh, it ended up being a rather profound uh, sort of result uh, in for me anyway on a personal level I suppose so so that's what it's about it's one day in April that was actually in March um, <laughs> but it is it was about the lockdown I suppose and uh, how they felt about it and how, how, how it all came to happen yeah I, I think it's, it's fantastic and we, when you made it um, you had a bit of copyrighted music in it, and so I said to maybe right. you'd have to remove that because we might get copyright strike if it's done it. And you ended up, um, tell us about the music that you used instead of the music you had in it. Yeah, so there, there was the famous uh, Friday Late Late Show where Hosier came on and, and, and did a rendition of The Parting Glass. I think Miriam O'Callaghan was the one who was presenting and everybody was in tears by the end of it and we thought there was going to be, you know, an absolute catastrophe heading our way and sure enough it was, it, it was bad, all right. Um, but anyway, it turned out YouTube didn't like the fact that I was using Hosier in, in, as, the, as the end music. So um, yourself and myself, we had a bit of a chat about that. And uh, the conclusion I came to was, should I, I'll do it myself. So when they were all out, I went uh, upstairs and I just recorded it. And uh, it's not Hosier, 
but uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's, it finishes the movie anyway with a bit of music so uh, people can draw their own conclusions. And I think, I think the fact that your signature yourself gives it a very more, especially after the content in the film, it gives it a much more personal feel. And so I think, I think it works really well for the documentary. Well, we'll see if others agree. <laughs> it, <laughs> I'm sure they will. I'm sure it, was, will. it was the solution to a problem at the time, to be honest with you. Um, because I, I, I don't have Hosier on my, on my speed dial to ask for his permission. So. Oh, he probably shame. would have done it. Though, I would have given it to you. I have him on my phone here. Yeah, I would have given it to you. <laughs> Um, well, listen, um, Jonathan, thank you very much for making the film and for getting in touch yeah, with us. Well, listen, before you go, thank you guys for, for, for hosting. It's really a, it's a, it's a lovely opportunity. So sorry for interrupting there, but it really is. So uh, I really appreciate it. So thanks a lot. It's a great thing that you do. Well, thank you very much. And uh, you're very welcome. And we're, we're delighted because it's the first time that, that you submitted to us. And it's nice. Yeah. I think you heard about us from the interview on Sean McCreef. And yeah, it's, I did. It's, yeah. it's, it's nice that, that that led to new people coming on board and making stuff. Yeah, and because we right. never would have heard from you probably if you didn't hear it on Sean McCreef. So it's great that that you were able to uh, get in touch with us and uh, give us such a, a cool film. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's a great thing you're doing. So long may it last. Excellent. Thank you very much. So this is uh, one day in April, actually in March, but one day in April by Jonathan DeBurka Butler. Thank you very much. Well done. Sort of cough, and it's very bad, and nobody likes it at all. Um, it's very annoying, and it's very sad. Well, I only know that the person that got the coronavirus first ate a bat that had it, I think. There was a guy that bit a bat who... And the bat had the coronavirus, and he bit the bat. He, I'm, I think he, he thought he was dead, so he ate it. And then he got the coronavirus. Why do you keep using this? Because it comes say from it's China. Racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. Dunque, l'Italia si blinda per contenere la diffusione del coronavirus che proprio ieri l'Organizzazione Mondiale della Sanità ha classificato come pandemia. Vedete in grafica. I'm shaking hands continuously. I was at a I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were a few there were actually a few coronavirus. Uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody uh, you'll be pleased to know and, and I continue to shake hands and uh, uh, I think it's very important that we you know people obviously can make up their own minds it's one o'clock you're listening to this week with David McCullough and Justin McCarthy coming up on the program as the number of coronavirus cases here rises we look at the unprecedented stress levels faced by critical care nurses dealing with COVID-19 surges globally and ask our frontline health workers here getting the support they need. Is the calm before the storm, before the surge? And when it comes, and it will come, never will so many ask so much of so few. We'll do all that we can to support them. It's having a big impact on every aspect of our lives. We are now asked to stay at home with limited exceptions. This is especially hard for older people and those who've been advised to cocoon. So we can't go to see Granny and Granddad because um, Um, it, if we had the coronavirus, they would get it, and then they had, and then they might have a really big chance of dying. You 
you can't go to parties. You can't go to pubs, which you would like a lot. And um, you can't go to see your granny and granddad, which we miss. You can't go to play with your friends, but you can't talk to them on the like, phone. You can't go to the library. You can't go to playgrounds, some shops, or but kind of some are open. playing football, I miss going to restaurants, I miss nothing else really. I kind of miss school. You miss school, do you? I miss all my friends. Oh, you're very good. Oh, all the money. That e'er I spent, I've spent it in good company. And all the harm that e'er I did, alas, it was to none but me. And all I'd done for want of wit to memory now I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with. You are. Excellent. That was uh, Jonathan DeBrecker Butler there with uh, One Day in April. That was excellent. Very, very good. We're just saying in the room here that like what, what a great opportunity to, to make a, a snapshot time capsule of um, life with your kids when they're whatever, six and eight years old. So good. So Jonathan, well done. Thank you very much for getting in touch and for making that and uh, great job on it. Very, very good. Um, uh, let me just go over to my comments correspondent, Matt Blaney, in our comments correspondent area. Matt Blaney, how are you? Good, thanks, Kenny. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Good. Uh, you have a few, a few comments there? We do, yeah. Um, so, uh, Hannah Zukashi said, uh, thanks everyone, this has been so much fun. Um, oh, Alan uh, said, he, sorry, he had to step out. Uh, where, where is Kenny's shorts gone? Yeah, there's a lot of people um, getting hot and bothered, so we had to cut away from it for a few minutes. Fair enough. Uh, Bip said, nice doc, very cerebral. Matt Kavanagh said, wow, captured a snapshot in time that we will never forget. Um, Bip then chimed in with, yay, Mega Man. Um, Nigel, fantastic documentary. Then a good few more coming in now. Colin Fleming says, that was really good. Leona Duff, lovely piece. Thanks for putting the night together, lads. Amber, really poignant and beautiful doc. Hmm. Um, Michael Patrick Breen, Luke Fion Daddy. Uh, Jonathan Butler, cheers guys, thanks very much for the opportunity, and Amanda, so sweet. Excellent, yeah, I think it was a great documentary, great way to finish tonight as well. Um, so I want to say thank you to all the filmmakers who made stuff tonight. Um, uh, it's, it's great to get like 10 more films again, which uh, were made within probably in the last month, most of them. Oh, not every, all of them were made specifically for this, but the fact they're getting made during lockdown as well, it's, it's cool, they're very, very cool. Um, and so well done to all the filmmakers, thank you all very much. Let me just give a shout out to everyone. Um, uh, Kenny Gotton, he was good. Oof. Brilliant. Oh, he was very good. Right. That's the guy with the shorts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One. The good legs. Yeah. Um, Patrick Joy with uh, Johnny and the King, uh, Kashi Cepeda, and uh, Kevin McDevitt with Philosophy, uh, Nigel O'Brien 
uh, with Rodney Oil with the song Rodney Owl with the song uh, Molly's Week. Um, Kevin O'Brien with Not So Original, Sarah Barbosa with Zoomy Zoomy Zoom, uh, K Money and ND with Longford Town, uh, John Paul's Painter with Waiting for Doggo, Manola Marceno and uh, Lakshika Saracene with Gra Tricolore, and uh, Jonathan, the, the Jonathan the Burke Butler with uh, One Day in April. Excellent. Well done, everyone. There's such, such great stuff there, wasn't yeah, there? Such, uh, uh, amazing stuff. Uh, thank you again to. Um, Unbound Media for helping us make this happen. It wouldn't have ha happened without you. And to Rick Barbosa and uh, uh, Airhub for your sponsorship of tonight. Uh, really means a lot to us. Thank you very, very, very much. Check them out at uh, e -Y -R -E -Hub, uh, dot com and uh, also um, on Facebook, Airhub, uh, Go is uh, online market. And Gala Film Centre, thank you very much. Alan uh, Duggan, who is the manager of Gala Film Centre, who was commenting earlier on. Uh, thank you very much, and Owen Butler Thornton and all the gang up there. Thank you all very, very much. Um, it's 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 a bit of a, a it, it it's difficult to get a stream like this going, and so much work goes into the, into making it happen um, from the guys and from myself. So many hours go into this, but it, it's it's great to see so many people being creative and coming together and kind of building a community. Even though we're we're not together, we're kind of community online, which is great to see. So thank you all very much for getting involved with us and for keep support, keep supporting us. And uh, Ben Stafford, who um, contributed there on the Facebook PayPal link, thank you very, very much. Really appreciate it. Um, thank you all for watching, and hopefully you enjoy it. And if you did, send it on to your friends. And uh, if any of you want to make films, get in touch with us. If any of you want to, want to get added to the mailing list, uh, get in touch with us on Facebook or or email, which is littlecinemagalway at gmail.com. And uh, anyone who was inter interested in the 40 hour challenge, particularly those who were in the, in the challenge before, uh, keep an eye out on our social media. We're on Instagram and Twitter under uh, LIL Cinema Galway, and we're obviously also on Facebook. Um, so get in touch with us, follow us, and keep up to date on what's happening. If you want to join the Little Cinema Collaboration Group, uh, that's on Facebook, and you can join there and look out for who's making what. If you want to get involved in stuff, look, look in that. Um, I think that's more or less everything covered, Matthew. What do you think? Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Thank you all very, very, very much. We might be going out the back to jump into a pool. Uh, not even joking. <laughs> that might be happening. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. And uh, stay safe and uh, stay sensible. And we'll see you all again soon. Thank you all very much. Good night.